briefly discuss certain investments are reported differently under statutory accounting principles and generally accepted accounting principles. Um, statutory, we use stat in, um, in the workplace and gap is a common uh, abbreviation for generally accepted accounting principles. To highlight some of the differences between statutory and gap, we're gonna discuss how investments are treated differently in each. For cash and cash equivalents, generally it's the same between statutory and gap, except for one additional classification or type of investment is included in cash and cash equivalents under statutory. Statutory cash and cash equivalents also include savings accounts and certificates of deposits in banks with maturity dates within one year or less from the acquisition date. Whereas within GAAP, usually it's just if you have an original maturity of three months or less. For bonds, uh, traditionally under GAAP, they can either be classified as trading or available for sale or held to maturity. Trading and available for sale are recognized at fair value, while classified are held, or while held to maturity are classified as amortized costs. Under statutory, bonds are rated by the National Association of Insurance Commissioners or NAIC. And depending on that rating, uh, one through six, it changes how the investment is reported. NAIC designations of one through five will be reported at amortized cost, while all other debt securities at NAIC designation six will be reported at the lower of amortized costs or fair value. Common stock, um, usually under gap, you report it at fair value, which is easily obtained from a published source such as um, well, the stock exchange. Under statutory accounting, uh, investments in unaffiliated common stock are generally reported at fair value um, as stated by the NAIC's investment analysis office, which is the SVO. As far as unrealized gains are concerned, um, unrealized gains under statutory or losses under statutory accounting are recorded directly to surplus for any investments that are held at other than amortized cost. Under GAAP, uh, unrealized gains and losses are recorded in net income for trading or other comprehensive income for available for sale. In the future, well, we're in that future, equity investments will be measured at fair value with all changes in fair value recognized in net income. One other unique aspect of investment or insurance investment accounting um, and insurance accounting in general is the presence of admitted and non-admitted assets. Under statutory accounting, certain assets are ex excluded from the statutory balance sheet and directly reduce their surplus. Uh, major non-admitted assets include agent balances, uncollected premiums over three months due, certain amounts of deferred tax assets, certain intangible assets and furniture, fixtures and equipment. And we'll get into why these non-admitted assets are excluded from the statutory balance sheet. And as we know in GAAP, there's no such thing as a non-admitted asset. <clears throat> 